Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing an underrated resort located outside of Hancock, Massachusetts. Club Wyndham Bentley Brook is located at the base of Jiminy Peak Ski Resort, which is home to over 167 acres of skiable terrain varying in difficulty. One of the reasons why we picked this particular resort was because of at this time of year, it's fairly quiet and we also wanted something that we can kick back and relax and thoroughly enjoy the views of the mountains by sitting in the hot tubs or swimming around in the pools and just being able to have the open space to ourselves. The pool itself was fairly refreshing because it was a saltwater pool. It actually allowed you to swim from the indoors and outdoors under a little waterfall it had between the building. They had two little kid hot tubs as well that were a comfortable temperature that you didn't have to worry about when your kids were in there if they'd be overheating or not. They did have an adult specific hot tub further outside the pool. This temperature ran between 99 and 103 degrees which made it very comfortable for adults to kick back and relax in the evenings or even during the day when it's a little bit cooler out and you can really feel like you had the hot tub to yourself. A few of the other amenities that they had at this resort was the tennis courts and basketball courts. So these were free to use unlike Fairfield Glaze that I did my first video on where you had to pay like per use. These ones you can just walk out the back door of the resort play around uh, even pickleball and tennis. But if you didn't bring any tennis rackets or balls, they actually had those at the front desk. Just sign them out for an hour or whatever and then bring them back. Jumping over to the rooms themselves, at this particular resort, we booked a two bedroom unit. The nice thing about the Wyndham units is that they're always very clean and presentable. Um, so when you walk right in, you're not kind of like, don't give that face of like, ooh, or it's just, it's always looking very presentable. We are on a third floor unit, perfectly looking over the mountains. Um, so it was really pretty in the evenings and even during the day. We didn't have very many major issues with this particular unit. The only thing that I would say was the air conditioner unit that was kind of attached to the room outside. I'm not quite sure if it was our location with our particular room or not, but whenever it turned on, like it turned on, it was fairly loud. So I'm not sure if all the other units had that same issue with its location with this kind of fan system, but that was it. It was the only thing that was really fairly annoying. The other color, small issues that I had was my sink drain didn't drain very well. And my shower for some reason was a little bit lukewarm at best. The living room was a little bit small, but that's fine. We didn't have to spend a lot of time there, but we did actually watch a lot of movies there in the evenings. So when we weren't in the theater, which I will get to in a second, you could go downstairs, sign out a DVD, you could keep it for two days and watch it up in your room. So they had over a thousand different options of like a variety of movies. We thoroughly enjoyed watching a few of them, but the other option you could do is run down the hall on the second floor, they had a theater room. So I think it could seat about 50 people. Um, they had the theater chairs, a big kind of projector screen. One of the favorite movies that I watched was Elvis. So the only thing that I would recommend if you're gonna go see one of these movies is to show up about maybe 10 to 15 minutes early if you really want a good seat probably more or less on the weekends because it is a lot busier, but just kind of keep an eye out. There's nothing wrong with kind of showing up 10 to 15 minutes early. It was a great experience. It's something to do in the evenings. They had two shows a day, one at 4 p.m. and then one at 8 p.m. Generally had the same movies showing every week, but other than that, they had the list up and you can kind of see um, what's showing that night and that late afternoon. Other than that, Club Wyndham Bentley Brook was a great resort to visit at this time of year. It was so open, not busy, you can really sit back and enjoy the spa-like features. Go down in the little workout room that they had, get your workout in for the day, or else just go and climb the mountain and utilize um, kind of the open space. Or on the weekends, whenever Jimmy Peak was open, you can go and ride the coaster, you can go and do a zip line or even a high ropes course. It was a little bit expensive for us. I know the dollar's still really bad, um, so we didn't really want to spend too much money. There was a grocery store about 20 minutes away, nice big grocery store, you can just drive down. Quite a few shopping centers there as well. Other than that, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video with any other resorts you want me to review. Thanks for watching, bye.